Hi, my name is Luca. This is my first review in English. While I've done hundreds of reviews in Italian, this message comes from Milan. I know that my English could sound quite strange, but this is part of the entertainment for my review dedicated to the Razer 5G from Motorola. <laughs> I've been using Motorola for quite a long time now, it's been more than two weeks and I have appreciated a lot of things. First of all, the new things, the metal uh, structure on the back, it was plastic uh, in the past with the previous model and now there is a fingerprint sensor here in the past uh, in the, on the back uh, of the phone while with the previous model you had a fingerprint sensor in this position, it was quite difficult to uh, use it, not as comfortable as this. Uh, placement which is much more natural when you hold the phone. Uh, another very important thing, there is a new hinge, it's stainless steel, it's much more stronger than the previous one and there is a frame uh, with, made with aluminium, it's uh, 7000 aluminium so quite strong and ready to uh, struggle with the daily life uh, uh, with the phone. Very important detail, the external display is a GeoLED display, uh, it's 2.7 uh, inches, while the internal display, display is a P-OLED 6.2, 21.9 ratio, um, very good reading possibilities even when you're under the sun. The only uh, concern that I have is about the structure of this screen, because when you turn it off, you can see it here, uh, there is a line here uh, that's caused by the mechanical system that it's used to close the phone. So whenever you close the phone, uh, you can see there, uh, there is something pushing from the back on the display. Uh, so as you can see, the display here can retract. So when you close it, there is something pushing on the display and the result is that there are two lines, one here and one there, and this is not very uh, nice to be seen, but for Motorola this is definitely absolutely regular and perfect. So uh, this is something that I should get used to, but uh, whenever I open the phone my eyes go there. I don't know why. Anyway, uh, as per the screen, as we told you, 6.2 inches, but as I mentioned before, this is very important because the external screen gives you a lot of possibilities. For, for example, the possibility to go straight to the main camera or otherwise to get uh, the connection with your uh, favorite shortcuts. You could put contacts as well in that position and whenever you listen to your favorite music, there are uh, music player controls over here. But if you want, you can get to uh, notifications as well. And for example, if you get a message, you can reply to the message straight from the screen, the little screen, uh, without opening the phone. This is very important for battery life. Uh, that, of course, gets better when you use the phone uh, this way. You can reply uh, texting straight on the keyboard on this little screen, or otherwise you can use a voice and it works very well. On the other side, you can uh, get to the uh, shortcuts for all the most important things that you can do with your phone uh, with a swipe in a very uh, simple way. Of course, something very important is the camera system. Now 45, 48 megapixel instead of 16 and there are 20 megapixel instead of 5. Uh, the selfie camera uh, works much better than the previous one and so it does the uh, main camera uh, which has uh, just a single sensor and you can use it with uh, uh, a single uh, normal um, I would say shot you can get to uh, eight uh, pair um, uh, zoom but you don't have a wide angle uh, structure and this way you can get to the main features of your uh, camera and those features changes uh, uh, when you switch to different uh, um, shooting modes. So if you get to the, for example, video mode, you can uh, uh, use this stabilization. These are all the different options that you have on your uh, camera, which are quite interesting. Uh, the quality of the camera is pretty good when you have a lot of lights. Mm, when you're working in not perfect light conditions, the result is not 
mm, I would say, the perfect you would expect from a phone uh, with this price. But anyway, much better than the previous version. I had prepared these videos to show you how the stabilization works, uh, but unfortunately we cannot listen to the original sound because there was a very strange noise inside the recordings and Motorola is investigating to understand what was happening. Anyway, the stabilization is quite good, not perfect. Uh, I would like to try it when you shake the phone a little bit more. This is recorded with the front camera system using the 20 megapixel camera to record the videos there is no stabilization in this case and you can see uh, for how much the image are shaken uh, in in the back uh, but anyway uh, very good light uh, very good uh, details and the quality uh, overall i think it's pretty uh, positive I have swapped the camera and I have uh, recorded uh, a different video. This time is with the main camera used with the phone closed. And the result is once again very good because as you see there are very nice and natural colors and uh, the uh, background is blurred in the right way. I really love this way of taking videos with the Motorola Razr 5G. Um, one thing that changed uh, was the battery uh, because now we have 2800 uh, milliampere capacity instead of the 2500 capacity uh, of the previous phone. It's getting better, but it depends on how much you use the phone with the 5G, which is quite, uh, uh, I would say, energy expensive. So whenever you're using the phone with 5G, uh, it starts using much more energy. Uh, usually I get to the end of the day uh, with something like 4 or 5 percent at dinner time and the phone goes off around 10 o'clock in the evening. Um, I did something like seven and a half hours um, screen on time uh, in regular conditions. Um, last thing that I want to tell you about the, this phone is something related to the software which is very simple. Uh, you get and practice stock Android with just a few customization options, uh, but these are very interesting. Those um, custom options are those we have already seen on uh, different uh, Motorola, so you can use a different uh, uh, type, um, an accent color, and a different shape of the icons, and a different layout for uh, your screen, uh, deciding whether you want four per uh, four per five or five per five and so on. Uh, so you have uh, customization options uh, to, to be used and uh, of course uh, there are gestures. So for example, you can simply uh, move your phone to start your uh, camera. Uh, I don't know if I have already activated the, the function that you uh, do a mov movement uh, like a, a hammer and you get the torch on. And of course uh, you have the always on uh, display uh, that uh, it's interactive. So uh, whenever you have the phone turn it off, I will try to show you now, uh, you have this kind of uh, uh, notification and you can interact with the notification just touching the screen. Uh, so much better than the previous version. Um, I don't know yet whether this phone is worth the price, honestly. Uh, I love the design. After all, I have enjoyed using it in those two weeks. I don't know if it's my phone in uh, particular. Mm, I would like to know uh, if it could be your phone or not, and if, yeah, if yes, why? So, after all, it's difficult to uh, give a final verdict on the new Motorola Razr 5G. Very pricey phone, incredible uh, good, nice design, interesting specs, but is there a balance between all those things? Is this enough to become a successful phone? Of course, this is much better than the uh, previous version, the first version, but is this something enough to compete with many other monsters on the market? So the answer is up to you. I would like to know in the comments below here. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.